Hey folks, I'm Lauren Dunn, lead product evangelist here at DocuSign, and today I'm going to walk you through signing orders. So what is a signing order? If you have more than one recipient, you can set a signing order. And what that means is it's the order of which your recipients receive the contract. So if you need details filled out by one recipient before another receives it, this is where you would use a signing order. There are two types of signing orders, parallel, which means everyone gets the document at the same time. And this is defaulted in your DocuSign account. And then sequential. Sequential means that you set the signing order. So number one, number two, number three, and number four. One thing to remember is you can actually mix parallel and sequential together. So want me to walk you through how to do all this? Let me show you. First, I log into my DocuSign account, and then I'm gonna grab a document I want signed. I'm gonna drag and drop it over. I scroll to add recipients and I'm gonna click signing order. As you can see, number one populates here and I've added in the name and email address. I have added another recipient and number two is populated. To add another, I will click add recipient. And I've added a third recipient. So as you can see, everyone here needs to sign. However, I just need Lauren's signature and Sally's signature. I do not need Adam to sign this document. He just needs to receive a copy. So I'm going to change the recipient type from needs to sign to receives a copy. You can change any of the recipient types on any of the signing orders. So I scroll to add a message and I can customize each email to the recipient. So I'm going to click customize email. I can see this is going to Lauren. I can change the email subject if I need to and I add an email message. So email number two, going to recipient number two, Sally. Sally is Lauren's manager, and Sally gets a different message, countersign confidential agreement for Lauren Dunn. So recipient number three is Adam. He does not need to sign anything. He just needs to get the copy of it signed. So I put completed confidentiality agreement and updated his email message. So now I follow the signing ceremony as normal. And that is how you set up signing orders in DocuSign. Now you've seen how easy it is to set up a signing order. I will post all relevant documentation down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, please post them in the comments.